So this year for Mother's Day, I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I drove myself and a girlfriend to the Rose Bowl. It was the best time. Wait until you hear this story. I'm Mara LaFay with Vintage Retail Therapy by Mara, and I'm here at the Rose Bowl. And I'm really not wanting anything, but I'm loving everything that I'm seeing so far. Check it out. They're only open the second Sunday of every month, and there's all kinds of stuff. Baskets and blankets and jewelry and, of course, roses. They're amazing. Hold up. Did you see that moose head? So this place combines everything that I love. A little bit of vintage and of course shopping. I don't know about you guys, but for me, shopping is therapy. There's all kinds of stuff to look at. A little bit of mi vintage mixed in. Look at that stained glass. It's absolutely beautiful. It's all my favorite things. That mirror, oh my gosh, to die for. And those chairs. Vintage goodness everywhere you look. There were so many dressers and so many things that were beautiful that I would have loved to came, take home, but I'm not buying anything. But what a great place to come and get some therapy. Everything you could possibly want, you'll find. Look at that bathtub. Oh my gosh, look at those Crocs. So good. So good, you guys. Wait until you see the rest of the goodness here. And I'm a sucker for a good mirror. You gotta stop and take a picture. Look at that. That is so delicious. I know I wasn't gonna buy anything, but wait, stop. I have to have this. Oh my God, be still my heart. I know it doesn't look like much, but this literally stopped me in my tracks. Off it went into my cart and I nursed it like a baby for the rest of the day. I know I wasn't gonna buy anything, but it's Mother's Day and I just had to have it. And I don't even know if I'm gonna get to keep it, but I just had to have it. It needs a lot of work. The top is janky. We're gonna have to strip it, but let's see what happens. Let's get started. We started by scraping off all the excess paint, and then we're eventually gonna wind up putting a stripper on it. So this takes a little bit of work, but it's definitely well worth it. I love the citrus strip. It's the mildest in my opinion. Doesn't really have a smell. It does get kind of goopy, but then just take your minimal spirits and just wipe it off until you get a clean finish. DIY crinoline for the win, my favorite. Look at how good. It just gives me a really nice base. So I'm mixing my posh pigments with my DIY liquid patina to make some metallic paint. You totally can control how bright your gold is. The more liquid patina you apply, the more translucent your color will be. The less patina you apply, the more opaque it will be. So you totally have control. And I just, I tell you what, it never gets tired mixing this stuff up. I just love doing that. Look at it. It's so yummy. I need just a little bit more and you mix it up in small batches because you don't want to waste any of it. Look at that goodness. just hitting the high spots and just putting it in random places. I love how it's looking. Once I add the DIY dark wax, it's going to give a little bit of depth and some dimension and start to create that old world finish that I'm going for. We can't have it naked in the back. So of course I added some stripes. I love it. It just gives it a little something, something extra. Don't you think? 
How many of those do you have? All these. What brand is that? A decoupage queen. Decoupage queen? Comes in like three different sizes. <laughs> it's awesome! Wow, look at her. Isn't she fabulous? I can't wait to see what she's gonna look like on my new favorite piece. So I put my paper down adjusting it for where exactly I was gonna put it. Added a little bit of liquid patina underneath, started smoothing it down, and with a water and brush, just gently went around the edges until I was able to cut off the excess carefully going around the edges until it's time to sand off the excess. Okay, we've got our decoupage paper down. I'm so excited. It's going to be fabulous. I'm so excited about this project. I hope I get to keep it. Although, I don't think I'm going to because I don't have a place for it. Do I move something out of the house just to make room for it? I don't know. So we've got our paper down and I'm gonna show you how to take the excess off. It's super easy. You want a thicker grit sandpaper. This is probably like maybe an 80. You don't want it too strong, especially if it's not rice paper because it will shred your paper. And you're gonna go in one downward motion. Check it out, super easy. Let's see if you can see that corner. There you go. One downward motion. That's all it takes. Shebangy. I love it. Tell me in the comments. What do you think? You got to see this paper up close. There is a bunch of different shading and variation. There is a little bit of verbiage in there. I just love it. This paper is called Gothic Angel. It comes in a few different sizes. And I got to say, I think it's one of my favorites. Just look at the dimension that it's got in the paper. It's absolutely beautiful. Tell me what you think in the comments. You can also find me on Facebook. We do a few lives a week. And we're also on TikTok. We would love for you to join us if you haven't already. And if you are kind of crazy, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao for now. What the heck is all this stuff that I got in? It's like Christmas in here. I think it's the new IOD.